Hello students, myself, Dr. Divya Ghildeyal, continuing with my lecture series on AKTU Engineering Physics Syllabus. Today, I am going to brief you about your unit of the syllabus, Electromagnetic Field Theory, that is second unit, EMT. Firstly, I will brief you the syllabus what is important from your AKTU examination point of view, then what all is asked, and then we will go unit by unit with the theory. Electromagnetic field theory. This word itself is a combination of electric field plus magnetic field. In this unit, you are expected to study the variation of electric and magnetic field combined, derive the four Maxwell's equations in differential and uh, integral form both, which are very important in this topic. Then how energy is transmitted in electromagnetic field with the help of pointing theorem and pointing vector, how this plane electromagnetic wave is transverse in nature and a very famous relationship of velocity of light, which is combining the transverse nature of EMT wave. Then few relations between electric and magnetic fields, the energy momentum which is carried by the electromagnetic waves and the pressure they create and to what depth do they penetrate. PDF of what I am teaching can be had in the link which I have given below here in the box. Now let me begin with EMT. Firstly, you should be briefly accustomed to these two, three laws before you start studying electromagnetic field theory. Reason being there are a lot of derivations here in this unit. So you should be familiar with Gauss law in magnetostatics, which states that the magnetic flux density for a given substance or a given element which is radiating magnetic field is given by this equation. This is in integral form and this is in the differential form, divergence B equal to zero. Gauss law in electrostatics, like in this whole unit, you will get the heading as magnetostatic, electrostatic, that is magnetic field, electric field, bit you can recognize with magnetic field that magnetic lines of force start from the north pole enter the south pole they are continuous curves whereas the electric lines of force are open curves that means they start from the positive charge and end in the negative charge so the integral equation for this is integral E dot ds. S is the surface area equal to total charge enclosed by that surface divided by epsilon naught, which is a constant. In case you want to change this expression from surface integral to volume integral, it becomes one upon epsilon naught integral V rho dot dv, where V is the volume and displacement current is equal to epsilon naught capital E where E is electric field. So the expression becomes divergence D is equal to rho that is the charges. Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction which states that a changing electric field gives rise to a changing magnetic field in the opposite direction. That is why this negative sign is there. Then last law, ampere circuital law, the total current that is enclosed in the surface is an integral of charge density J dot ds, where ds is your surface integral. So curl dot h equal to j. Now students, these four equations, curl, I will begin, repeat it once again for you. Divergence B equal to zero. Magnetic lines of force are closed curves. They start from the North Pole and 
in end in the south pole and inside the magnet they are continuous so they form a continuous loop gauss law in electrostatics divergence d equal to rho faraday's law of electromagnetic induction del cross e equal to minus del b by del t that means changing electric field gives rise to changing magnetic field in the opposite direction that is why this negative sign and curl dot h equal to j these four equations are your basic equations of emt now you will be modifying them accordingly as you move ahead with the theory now your syllabus the first heading is equation of continuity that means it should the charges should be flowing in a continuous manner they should not be static why because see here in this expression what am i saying a changing electric field is giving rise to a changing magnetic field if this change is not there magnetic field will not develop and vice versa so the net amount of charge remains constant for an isolated system electric current is constituted by rate of flow of charge due to negatively charged electrons that means you have heard of the formula q equal to it charge is equal to current into time that very same expression i have written it in a differential form here these notes you will get the link below this video lecture i equal to minus dq by dt charge q can also be written as rho dv and i have integrated it j current density is equal to i upon a so in integral form i have written it as i is equal to integral s j dot ds where j is current density now i equated both these equations and here i have got the equation for continuity which is read as divergence j plus del rho by del t equal to 0 this is known as equation of continuity it shows that charges are electric charges can neither be created nor destroyed but they are remaining conserved equal to zero for static field where there is no motion everything is at rest del rho upon del t will become zero and your expression reduces to del dot j equal to zero so this is continuity equation for static fields now in your aktu paper section a two mark question is asked write the equation of continuity so for writing that you don't need to put in all these derivation steps you just straight away write the equation of continuity explaining the meaning of the symbols used here like j is current density rho the charge density t the time and explain it for static field this way two mark section a question you will get full two on two here next heading displacement current firstly let me clarify to you displacement current has got nothing to do with the current which you hear you or you have been hearing till date as per your knowledge that current uh, we uh, study it with the help of an ammeter and all displacement current is different from current first make it clear in your mind second displacement current arises when the charges are in motion they give rise to the displacement vector which is divergence d equal to rho where rho is the charges so all this emt is directly related to charges and their flow so displacement current is related directly to the flow of charges so this is not equal to charge and it is given by rate of flow del rho by del t how much these charges are flowing in the system now very important heading for your aktu examination paper section c 
and section B numericals. Every year, or in fact, every alternate year, there is a 10 or an 8 mark question as per the system of your question paper pattern regarding derivation of Maxwell's equations the, or in differential or integral form or what is the physical significance of each of these four Maxwell's equations or explain Maxwell's equations in detail for free space. So this is the most important part of your electromagnetic theory unit. It is asked almost every year. If one year they ask you to derive the Maxwell's equations in differential form, next year be prepared or expect a question in integral form. If integral form has been asked, then expect a question to be written for Maxwell's equations in free space. This is the most important page of your notes. Now, I will explain you in short. Differential form, look at the first equation, del dot D equal to rho. Differential form of Gauss law in electrostatics, which is involving charges, del dot B equal to zero. Differential form of Gauss law in magnetostatics or magnetic lines are closed curves. Del cross E equal to minus del B by del T or curl E equal to the differential variation of del B by del T. That means as and when I vary my magnetic field, electric field gets produced simultaneously. That is differential form of Gauss law in electromagnetic induction. Last fourth equation, Maxwell's modified form of ampere circuital law. Here in BTEC, you will see one extra factor del D by del T added to your famous Maxwell uh, Ampere's equation. Del cross H equal to J plus del D by del T. This is Maxwell's modification of ampere circuital law. In integral form, these four equations are written like this. Now, Maxwell's equation in free space. Firstly, comfort yourself with the word free space. Free space means no charges present around. That means it is totally lying in a free space. So when no charges are there, your charge density becomes zero, rho equal to zero, and rho equal to zero means J equal to zero. So Maxwell's equations in differential form then become del dot D equal to zero, del dot B, see, we are putting rho equal to zero or J equal to zero in these equations. So if you put rho equal to zero here, what happens? Del dot D equal to zero, del dot B equal to zero. Third equation will remain as such. And the fourth equation here, this factor becomes zero. So your fourth equation becomes del cross H equal to del D by del T. D you can also write as epsilon naught E and this equation takes this form. Please, once again, I'm repeating, this is the most important part of your EMT. You will have to learn these equations for your exam and the physical significance, that is these lines. Equation one represents the differential form of Gauss law in electrostatics, which in turn is derived from Coulomb's law. Equation two represents Gauss law in magnetostatics, which states that isolated magnetic poles do not exist. That means you will never find North Pole existing at one end and South existing somewhere else. You can find charges existing as monopoles, plus charge, minus charge, but never ever do poles exist like this. If you take one single magnet and break it into large number of pieces, every magnet is going to have a North and a South, North, South, North, South. They will never be existing as single north lying somewhere and single south lying somewhere. Equation three represents the differential form of Faraday's law of 
electromagnetic induction and equation for represents Maxwell's modification of Ampere's law to include time varying fields in our EMT theory. So uh, now in my next lecture, I will derive these Maxwell's equations for you, which are very important for your question paper section C. And PDF link of these notes are available below the video lecture. Thank you.